doers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about consignment. So before moving on to the topic, we need to know the term consigner and consignee. So consigner is the owner of the product or they can be the center or supplier of the product. And consignee is the receiver of the product or we can say that they are the retail shop. So consignment is an arrangement where the consigner gives the product to the consignee to sell. The unsold product can be sent back to the consigner itself by the consignee. If the consigner sells the product, they will get a percentage of um, profit from it, right? So the consignee has to give a share from the profit that they has made to the consigner. This is one of the marketing strategy used by every business so that the consignee do not need to keep or buy the product upfront. Let's say this with an example. And I'm the consigner here and you are the consignee and I'll lend you the product to sell. So you will get a profit from that and you have to give me a, a percentage of profit that you has generated from selling of the product. And I can also take back the uh, non-salt or unsalt item from you. So this is one of the marketing strategy that is used and this can be easily managed in Odoo 17. So let's kick off the functionality of managing consignment in Odoo 17. To manage with the consignment, let's get into the inventory module and we need to enable the consignment from the configuration settings. Here we have a section called traceability. Over there you can find the consignment which, which would let you to set honors for the stored product. And we know the consignment is an arrangement where the consigner gives a product to a third party that is the consignee to sell the product and uh, as we have just enabled this feature you can save the changes and let's move on to the operation tab over there we can find the transfers and we can manage the um, setting honors or consignment from the receipts so here you can find different receipts over here we are going to create a new receipt and as we have chosen the receipts over here and as enable the feature consignment here you can find a field called assign honors that is that is to send the honor of the product or the supplier of the product so here you can see the product uh receive from so you can set the consignee over here and i'm choosing the consignee as azure interior and uh let me choose the um yeah honor or the consigner over here so here you can choose a consigner as Ronnie Hard, and you can also set the product over here. So I'm going to choose a product as, um, yeah, let it be chocolate. And you can see, uh, we are going to demand for 10, uh, quantity and you can just save this and you can just validate this. So in this case, we can understand that we know. The owner of the product is still Roni Hart and uh, the consignee is Azure Interior. So Roni will be giving the product 10 quantity of chocolate to Azure Interior only for the purpose of selling. So if this product is not sold, uh, Roni can just take back of this product. And if this uh, product is sold by Azure Interior, then Azure also need to give a uh, percentage of profit uh, to the Ronnie. Now, um, here you can also find the um, inventory movement. So as you just move on to the reporting and under the move history, you can find the move history of the product chocolate as well as you can also group this by uh, owners. So here you can just choose the custom filters um, of grouping and here we have from honor and it's very easy to just filter based on honors of different products. Now here you could find the product uh, that is owned by Rony Hard and you can see over here with the product as well as the reference everything is shown and the product has moved just from the partner vendor to the warehouse. Now we can also manage the consignment through an RFQ. So let's move on to the RFQ, uh, that is to the purchase module to create the RFQ. So here, as you are trying to create a new RFQ, we need to set uh, the vendor over here. So I'll be choosing my vendor as uh, Beth 
and here you can choose a product so let's choose uh, the product as chocolate itself and here we need five quantity of chocolate okay and you can just save this later on uh, you can just confirm the order so as you have just confirmed the order and when you just move on to the receipts here you can find that we can set the honor over here so uh, let me choose the honor um, as someone else uh, from the list so here you can uh, choose the honor as Rachel Puri and you can just save this and validate that so we have just set the honor that is the consigner for the product chocolate and here you can find uh, the things over here now as you just move on to the inventory module you can find the inventory movement as well as uh, the yeah um honor that we have set so you can also get the honor based on move history as well as based on location okay so as uh yeah under the move history you would be able to find the movement of the product with the quantity from the partner vendor location and you can also just group this by using the filter from honor and let me choose uh based on from honor and you can find Rachel Perry over here and you can find every details and as you just move on to the locations you can also just uh, filter the product based on honors and you can choose uh, honor over here and you can also get the product based on honors and you would be able to find uh, Rachel Perry as well as Ronnie over here with the product chocolate with 5 as well as 10 respectively we know in case of consignment the supplier or the owner of the product steals on the product until they are sold and this marketing strategy is used when we need to launch a new product into the market so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video